Hi, Assalamualaikum and a very good morning. So today we're going to do some tutorial discussion for chapter 4, focusing on the subtopic of 4.4, which is reaction of organic compound. We're going to focus on tutorial question 11, 12, 13, and 14 respectively. Without any further ado, let us start. So for tutorial question 11, we have to state the type of the covalent bond cleavage involved in A and B. We have to identify the species that can act as a nucleophile, and U minus, which has a lot of electron, electrophile, which is E plus, less electron, and the free radical. Okay, and for the A part here, we have bromine molecule produces Br free radical and Br free radical. So what really happened here was the Br and Br has the same electronegativity, and by applying under UV, it the, the two electrons here are going to be split equally, where one bromine atom will have one electron each. And it is denoted as a half-headed arrow, half-headed arrow, which refers to the transfer of one electron. So, bromine, will, bromine atom will get one, bromine atom will get one. So, uh, the type of bond cleavage here is going to be homolytic cleavage, and this is going to produce a Br free radical. For part B, it's going to be CH3 with Cl here. So as what you can see here, the Cl is more electronegative than carbon. So it's going to be an heterolytic cleavage where both of the two electrons going to be transferred into chlorine atom. And this is denoted by a full-headed arrow here, which refers to the transfer of two electrons. Okay, so um, the transfer here, the type of bond cleavage here is heterolytic cleavage and the nucleophile here is going to be chlorine because it receives two electrons and the electrophile here is going to be CH3 plus where it receives no electron. Okay, so the one with have more electron is going to be negative and hence going to be nucleophile and the one that doesn't get any electron is going to be positive which is the electrophile. Alright, now moving on to question 11. To question 12. So we have to arrange the carb carbocate ion in the order of increasing stability. So carbocate ion is a basically a positive uh, charge carbon and in order to arrange them in terms of stability, uh, we're going to say that uh, the most stable one is the one which has more alkyl group. So alkyl, alkyl group here mean carbon chain. So more stable will have more alkyl group. So in this case, I can say that here is the most stable. Here going to be the most stable, number one. Because the carbon plus here is attached with one, two, and three. So it's going to be the most stable. Number two going to be here. Because the carb C, C plus here attached with two carbon. Here, one, two, three. Okay. And this is second most stable. And the third most stable is going to be here. Okay. Because the carbon here, which is C plus, is attached with hydrogen, is attached with hydrogen. So it's going to be attaching with one carbon. Okay. And the least stable here is here, this one number four because it doesn't attach with any um, alkyl group okay so uh, we can re we can arrange them first so we can say that this one is going to be number one most stable here going to be number two and here going to be number three and here going to be number four so this one is more stable than this one this one is more stable than that one and this one is more stable than that one all right so the explanation for this is um, the alkyl group or the electron donating group that will stabilize the carbocate ion. So the more the alkyl group, the more stable is the carbocate ion. So when it receives uh, this species here will acting as an electron donating group, E, E, D, G. So uh, C plus here will have less electron. Okay, when there is a presence of electron donating group, it will passes 
electron density to this one and hence stabilize the structure. And that is why more alkyl group will stabilize the carboxyl ion. Alright, now moving on to, to the real question 13. So we have to name the type of the reaction for the following. So from a benzene ring attached with C double bond OH, applied with COCl2 to form the C double bond OCl. So what's changing here is OH being changed into Cl. Okay, OH replaced into Cl. So what you can see here, it is a substitution reaction because it is being replaced. So it is a nucleophilic substitution reaction because the nucleophile, for example, Cl minus, as OCl2 will produce Cl minus, Cl minus will attack the electrophilic side, delta plus here. And OH is going to be removed out. So this is known as the nucleophilic substitution. For this part, uh, C, which is CH2CH2, which is an alkene, H2O is being added into the alkene here, to the system here. So as what you can see, H is going to be added here to become CH3, and OH is going to be added here, so going to become CH2OH. So you know that it is an addition reaction. All right? But uh, this is known as the electrophilic addition because here is the nucleophile. Okay, the nucleophile has a lot of electron density. So it's going to attack the hydrogen and OH. And because it adding electrophile into the system, it is known as the electrophilic addition. Okay, now for part D. As what you can see here, starting up, you have CH3, CHBr, and CH3. But now, the CH3 becomes CH2. And the Br is none. So the Br is being removed. So hydrogen and Br is being removed, and hence produces HBr here. So you know that this reaction is an elimination reaction, where you remove H atom and Br atom, and this is known as the elimination process. Now, here. So, this is an alkene, and we have bromine uh, molecule applied under UV. So, when it is applied under UV, you know that the H here is going to be substituted with Br. So, from CH4, it's going to be CH3Br. So, uh, this is known as the substitution reaction. But when it is under UV, you know that the free radical is going to be produced. So it's going to be a free radical substitution. Alright. Now, for F, you can for the benzene ring, it can also be drawn to be something like this. Okay. So each of the carbon is going to be attaching with one hydrogen. Okay. So one of the hydrogen, for example here, is going to be substituted with NO2. So you know that it is a substitution reaction because the hydrogen is being replaced with NO2. Okay, and it comes from the nucleophilic side attacking the electrophile. So electrophile is being added. Hence, we can say that it is an electrophilic substitution and the aromatic comes from the aromatic ring. So, electrophilic aromatic substitution. Alright. Now, we're going to do tutorial question 14. Based on the reaction scheme below, state the type of the reaction corresponding to step A, B, and C. So, first we have alkane applied under UV. And the alkane here, from the CH3, it becomes CH2Br. So you know that one of the hydrogen is being replaced with Br. Okay, so you know that it is a substitution reaction. When it has a UV, so you know that it's gonna be for it's gonna form a free radical. So it's gonna be a free radical substitution reaction. Alright, now for part B from an alkene. It, it form an alkene. Okay. 
So you know that some of the substance here are being removed. So for B, it's going to be elimination reaction because you're going to remove H and also Br. Okay. So the position here is a bit weird because it's going to be eliminated and it's going to rearrange. So it's going to be this type of alkyl. Okay. Uh, and for part C, you know that HBr is added again. So Br here going to be substituted on the this side and H going to be substituted on that side. So it's going to be CH2 and CBr. Okay, so this is going to be an addition reaction, which is an electrophilic addition reaction because it starts from a nucleophile. The nucleophile attack the electrophile. So electrophile is being added into the system and hence it is known as the electrophilic addition. Okay, so the process of B and C, you will learn more in the next chapter. All right. So I think that's all for today's video. See you again some other time. Bye.